Hi, this is Dr. Roy Kim, your favorite Dr. Kim. And basically what we're doing here is I'm going to show you how to use a sizer. So sizers are temporary implants. And you notice that it's a little full and air can get in and out of this thing. If I suck out air right now, it works. Except as soon as I let go, air is going to go back in here. So what you want to do is put on this one-way valve. Now, how do we do it? You suck out the air. You notice it goes flat. You pinch this because otherwise air is going to go back in. And you put the valve on like so. This is the only way it fits. You let go. It's no longer pinched off. Pretty flat. But air can't go back into the actual sizer. Now, when I want to fill this sizer, this is about 60 cc's. I can fill it with 60 cc's, but this is a one way valve. The air doesn't escape. Let's do it a couple times. This is a 500 cc sizer. So with air, that's 60 plus another 60, 120. 120 plus 60 is 180. 180 plus 60 is 240. 240 plus 60 is 300. 300 plus 60 is 360. 360 plus 60 is 420. 420 plus 60 is going to be 480, and you notice it's almost at 500, it's at 480. Now these sizers can accommodate more air slash more fluid. The envelope is slightly stretchy. So even though we're going to inflate it to 480 plus 60, which is also 540, technically bigger than 500, no explosion, it's still intact. You notice I'm going to let go of this. It starts to deflate. Go flat immediately. If I just don't use the one way valve and just fill it with air, it works. But the air comes out immediately. You have to have the one way valve so that the air can't escape. I hope this clarifies things. So when I ask you to put the sizer in and inflate it, first, to repeat myself from the very beginning, we want to remove all the air from here. We're gonna suck it out. No air, no air. And instead of escaping, we want to put the one-way valve on. Now air can't really escape. I will ask you to fill this sizer with air to a certain volume with the one-way valve. When we put the air in, it doesn't escape because the valve prevents it. So now you understand how to use sizers, especially in breast surgery.